Have mercy on me, O Lord, for people assail me. They fight me all day long and oppress me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whose wondrous grace we are enriched with every blessing, grant us so to pass from former ways to newness of life that we may be made ready for the glory of the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. The assembly condemned Susanna to death. But Susanna cried aloud, O eternal God, you know what is hidden and are aware of all things before they come to be. You know that they have testified falsely against me. Here I am about to die, though I have done none of the things with which these wicked men have charged me. The Lord heard her prayer. And as she was being led to execution, God stirred up the Holy Spirit of a young boy named Daniel. And he cried out, I will have no part in the death of this woman. All the people turned and asked him, What is this you are saying? He stood in their midst and continued, Are you such fools, O children of Israel, to condemn a woman of Israel without examination and without clear evidence? Return to court, for they have testified falsely against her. Then all the people returned in haste. To Daniel the elders said, Come, sit with us and inform us, since God has given you the prestige of old age. But he replied, Separate these two far from each other, that I may examine them. After they were separated one from the other, he called one of them and said, How you have grown evil with age. Now have your past sins come to term, passing unjust sentences, condemning the innocent, and freeing the guilty. Although the Lord says, the innocent and the just, you shall not put to death. Now then, if you were a witness, tell me under what tree you saw them together. Under a mastic tree, he answered. And Daniel replied, your fine lie has cost you your head. For the angel of God shall receive the sentence from him and split you in two. Putting him to one side, he ordered the other one to be brought. Daniel said to him, Offspring of Canaan, not of Judah, beauty has seduced you. Lust has subverted your conscience. This is how you acted with the daughters of Israel, and in their fear they yielded to you. But a daughter of Judah did not tolerate your wickedness. Now then, tell me under what tree you surprised them together. Under an oak, he said. And Daniel replied, Your fine lie has cost you also your head. For the angel of God waits with a sword to cut you in two, so as to make an end of you both. The whole assembly cried aloud, Blessing God, who saves those who hope in him. They rose up against the two elders, for by their own words, 
Daniel had convicted them of perjury. According to the law of Moses, they inflicted on them the penalty they had plotted to impose on their neighbor. They put them to death. Thus was innocent blood spared that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. Even though I walk in the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. But early in the morning he arrived again in the temple area, and all the people started coming to him. And he sat down and taught them. Then the scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery and made her stand in the middle. They said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery. Now in the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. So what do you say? They said this to test him, so that they could have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and began to write on the ground with his finger. But when they continued asking him, he straightened up and said to them, Let the one among you who is without sin be the first to throw a stone at her. Again he bent down and wrote on the ground. And in response they went away, one by one, beginning with the elders. So he was left alone with the woman before him. Then Jesus straightened up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? And she replied, No one, sir. Then Jesus said, Neither do I condemn you. Go, and from now on, do not sin anymore. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let the one who is without sin cast the first stone. It's not like we can say we never heard that message before. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Grant pardon, and you will be pardoned. Be merciful, as your Heavenly Father is merciful. The measure with which you measure will be measured back to you. Remove the plank from your own eye before trying to remove the speck from your brother's eye. How many times must I forgive? Seven times? No, not seven times, but 70 times seven times. Or well, most commonly yet, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
The message of today's gospel account of the adulterous woman reflects a fundamental message that Jesus came to teach us. To be forgiving, not judgmental. Let the one who is without sin cast the first stone. Praise be the name of Jesus Christ, now and forever. Gathered as one, we lift up our prayers to God. For Pope Francis and all clergy, may God's hope shine abundantly through them as they lead the church in the world today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are elected to government positions, may God's justice be in their hearts as they make decisions in the best interests of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who thirst for light in situations of great darkness, may God's love lead them to everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all in our parish community, especially those affected by the coronavirus, may the Lord help us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, may God's peace be with them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of today's masses, John Drogallis and Claire Dent. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we hear our prayer. And for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we hear our prayer. Almighty and ever living God, we humbly place our prayers before you and we ask that you hear and answer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God, bread. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God with humble spirit and contrite heart. May we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all of holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that preparing to celebrate the holy mysteries, we may bring, about, bring before you, as the fruit of bodily penance, a joyful purity of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you 
as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Victory, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. (laughs) Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection of my body and a healing remedy 